Hey guys, thanks for checking out the video today. But before we start, I'd like to have a shout out to Big Daddy Unlimited. They're now supporting the channel. And if you'd like to check out what all they have to offer, click the link in the description below and it'll take you straight to their website. First month is only 99 cents and every month afterwards is $10. You can cancel at any time. You can cancel within the first month if you'd like to. But like I said, if you'd like to support us and get some interesting stuff while you're at it, check out Big Daddy Unlimited. Let's get on with the video. <laughs> hey guys, today we're back with another product review. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Bulletproof Zone Protect Vest. This is a pretty slim line uh, Bulletproof Vest that uh, Bulletproof Zone has actually come out with uh, recently. They're sold out all over their website, but they'll be getting in more soon. So if y'all are interested in this, just waiting you should be able to pick one up for too long but this is this is more for the min, uh, minimalist i guess is the easiest way to put it because this is mainly meant for something that you can wear inside your shirt or even outside if need be but it can pack what you need it to and it doesn't have any unnecessary stuff that you really don't need unless you're going into a certain type of combat zone uh, as you see here, one of the most uh, simplest designs I've seen that actually work though for a bulletproof vest. As you see here, you have your adjustable straps for your shoulders depending on your height and everything else. And here on the side, you have these elastic bands that all you have to do is strap over on the front whenever you put this on and there you go. It is ready to be worn or if you have it on you, it's already on you. That being said, uh, very interesting design overall. You take as simple as you could of a uh, bulletproof vest and that's what they've come up with. Simple sometimes is better than having all the gadgets and gadgets and all that on it. Uh, what this to me would fit the best is your person, your businessman that might have a long walk to work that's in somewhat of a dangerous area, such as some parts of Chicago, New York, if body armor is allowed there, I'm not sure, I'm from Kentucky, which it's legal here and uh, your businessman or somebody that wants to dress casual, dress normal, but not have it shown that he's got body armor on. Not only that, but this can be placed in a house or in a vehicle or something like that. And if something breaks out and something happens and you need body armor, very simple to throw on and very fast in under 10 seconds is what they have on their website. And I tested it out myself and you can get it on in less than 10 seconds. Like I said, all you have to do is throw it over as such it doesn't hang back here take you take your left strap tie it on and your right strap throw it on and there you go i'm a little bit of a heavier guy and it fits me pretty well as you can see just a little bit of fat pushing out on these sides but overall though it will fit um one thing though i do say that i kind of wish they would have done a little bit different is for heavier people like me or bigger people, depending on how you want to say it. I wish that here on the back, they would have uh, made it to where these back straps can be adjustable instead of just putting this and sewing this on to where it's just pretty much one length, which that's what really this elastic is made for. But once you get it so tight, if you are a heavier person like I am, uh, it kind of pushes everything else that you have out. But it still does do its job, don't get me wrong. Um, I think that some of the upgrades they might be doing is make where these straps on the back will be adjustable to where you can either make them a little bit uh, further to the sides, give you more length on the sides so you're not as uncomfortable or not as, I guess you would say, squeezed. Uh, that's one thing I would recommend them possibly doing. The top here is perfect. I mean, I don't really see anything that they need to change on this. Uh, I've got it on the uh, same place that it was from the actual uh, factory and it fits me fine and I'm 6'2", uh, about 260 pounds. So the top straps are fine, they are adjustable, but the only thing, like I said, that I think that they could have changed to make it a little bit better is make it to where these straps here can be adjusted on the back. So if you don't want it as tight on you or if you'd like it tighter. You have here as well, uh, two plates inside of this already from factory that are level 3A. 3A will stop up to a 44 Magnum. It will not stop rifle rounds such as 5.56 or 7.62, but 39 AK round. 
you have a front and back strike zone. Um, 10 by 12 uh, specification, uh, level 3A. This date of manufacturing on this one was 2-23 of 2022, and it has a five-year warranty on it. So this is good for five years. Once that five years up, uh, take it and throw it either in another plate that you have, that you already have uh, newer material in, or just throw it away. But most of the time, as long as you have um, have kept uh, your Kevlar in pretty good shape and not sweated too much into it, it will last longer than the five year period, but it will last uh, for sure two five years. So as you see here, uh, I like the way that you insert it. I'm glad that you insert from the top instead of from the bottom because if you're inserting from the top, you can actually throw more multiple plates inside of this on the go if you need to. As you see here, all it does is insert straight into it, push it all the way down and there you go. Uh, this is the standard for a 1012. So if you would like to say throw a level three plate, steel or ceramic, it will fit in here. All you have to do is take it, push it in, and there you go. You have a steel plate in front and Kevlar in back to help cushion some of that shot if you get shot with say a rifle. But I like the simplicity of that. I'm not much, like I said, on the under uh, loading in. Uh, I do like the upwards to where you can actually throw one in, like I said, on the go. But very simple, take it and pull it out. That's one of the plates that we actually torture test from RTS Tactical. So I was just showing you all that. Uh, same thing for the back. If you'd like to load one in the back, there you go, pull it out. And there's your strike face for the back. So guys, I mean, very, very good uh, quality overall. You have a nylon type of uh, uh, build here with elastic bands on the side. Uh, everything you see here is high quality. I haven't seen a single piece of this uh, plate carrier or uh, bulletproof vest, as you would say. Um, anywhere that says that it isn't high quality. Um, I mean, like I said, I, I've reviewed a bunch now and I have seen some quality issues between each and other company, some worse than others, some that's not as bad but this is one that I would highly recommend. Uh, hopefully they will be coming out with different sizes soon though, because this is a 10, 12 and where I'm a bigger guy, it covers most of my vital areas, but some uh, areas are still exposed. So I most of the time go up to a bigger plate than a 10, 12, but uh, you know, if you're a smaller person or average size man, which is what the 10, 12 was designed for, somebody that's I think five, nine in the United States is average size. It will cover all your vital organs. Uh, so that's what it's intended to do. But overall though guys, very high quality and I really do like everything about it besides just where it isn't adjustable any further than that. It will still fit me, but uh, it kind of looks like I've got a girl on if that makes sense to you all. Just trying to be as, uh, as you know, honest as possible because I do like this a lot. I just kind of wish it was adjustable to where it was a little bit uh, better fitting for me. I understand everybody isn't overweight and isn't as big as I am, but that's something that they could take into consideration whenever they put out more models of these. But as you see though, guys, you get two level 3A plates, which is a decent amount of money nowadays for $299. I think it's a good deal, especially with how simple this design is and how well built it is. Um, and overall though guys this this is more meant in my mind anyway for like a businessman that does a little bit of walking every day to work uh, somebody that's in a high crime area that wants to protect herself um, i don't see this being adopted a lot by like say law enforcement or security just because you know we like to have their molly stuff on and all of that which you somewhat needed if you're going into a combat zone or whatever else but you do have the uh, ability to put some stuff here on front where it is a Velcro latch up here, as you can see, if you actually want to put it where it will actually go, you can line it up here and you still have Velcro up here on front to where you can attach a mag carrier or tourniquet and mag carrier, whatever else you would like. So you still can change it around a little bit, but to me, this is for the guy who wants to put it underneath his shirt and conceal it and you still be able to uh, protect yourself uh, very, very well. Uh, most law enforcement nowadays only carries level two plates, uh, soft Kevlar, which will only stop up to about a 
357 Magnum. Uh, I don't think, think that level two will even stop a uh, 44 Magnum. I'm about for certain level 3A is the first one that you get to that will stop a 44 Magnum. But soft armor, either way it goes, would be a great, uh, is, is great for this type of setup. But if you wanna say throw a level three plate in it, you easily can, which I like about it. Uh, this is something as well that if you'd like to throw in the back of a car or whatever else, uh, or have it behind the seat of your car, you can have this and it doesn't take up much room as you can see here how thin it is. And it's very, very light. Uh, that's one of the biggest places I've actually missed in this review to talk about is that how light it is. Um, to me, possibly two pounds, if that. I mean, it feels pretty much like, I mean, whenever I did have it on, you couldn't even tell it was on whenever it comes to weight. I could tell it was on because it was kind of tight on me, but uh, weight-wise, you can't even feel it on you. So I like that about it a lot. But overall, though, guys, I highly recommend it. I like it, and I hope that the next ones they come out with is a tad bit adjustable on the back where it will fit me a little bit better because this is something myself that I would throw in a vehicle and just kind of forget about having until I actually needed it. So, guys, let me know in the comment section below what you think about it. Like I said, I, I really do like this a lot, and I think that uh, you all will as well if this is something that you'd be interested in. So thank y'all for viewing. Like and subscribe for more gun reviews. And I'll see y'all in the next video.